Hi, welcome back to another episode of Restaurant Remake. So today is actually not really a restaurant remake, but it is a street food remake. And this is a bubble waffle machine that I have purchased recently. And if you have not yet watched the unboxing of this kitchen gadget, please watch our video, which I will link below. And check out how excited I was to unbox this machine. This definitely brings back a lot of childhood memories with the bubble waffle that is a typical street food that you can find in Hong Kong. Now technically the street food they are actually put into an actual store so most likely you will find the bubble waffle in a store now. Well still technically by the street. So I am super excited to share with you my recipe for the Hong Kong bubble waffle here and I will show you now how to make this batter. Okay, here's the ingredients to make the bubble egg waffle. Okay, so let's get started. So in a large bowl, we are going to swift together the dry ingredients. I'm gonna add a little bit of flour to my swifter here. Okay, so we're gonna swift in the dry ingredients. I added the flour. I'm gonna add in the ta or tapioca starch here. It's followed by so one tablespoon of custard powder, and then two teaspoons of the baking powder. Okay, so once we swift our dry ingredients, we're gonna put this to the side. Okay, so in the double boiler, we're gonna put another bowl here, and we're gonna whisk in our egg. Okay, so we're gonna add in the sugar, and we're gonna mix the eggs here. And make sure the sugar is gonna dissolve. And we're gonna mix this for five minutes. So during this process, we want the sugar to completely melt down as well as we're fluffing the egg. So we want to make sure the egg is going to be nice and fluffy and it will be thickened at the end a little bit. Okay, so your hand will get tired here, so if you have another person to help you, that would be great. But I'm the one who is just mixing it. so. Okay, so the five minutes is up. I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of the condensed milk here. And I'm gonna continue to whisk this in. So this will combine the egg mixture with the condensed milk here. Okay, so you can see the texture here. Okay, starting to thicken up and that's a good sign. And that is exactly what we wanted. Okay, then I want to add in my evaporated milk as well as my vanilla extract here. Okay, so now we don't have to necessarily put it in the double boiler here. So I'm going to remove it from the heat. Okay, so we're going to add in our flour a little bit at a time. To, we don't want to over mix the batter, so here we're just going to incorporate the flour with the egg batter and we want to just mix it until it's smooth. Okay, okay so you don't want to overdo it. As long as there's no lump, that's good. So right now you can see that it's very nice here. And finally, we're gonna add in our two tablespoon of the butter, which is melted. And we're gonna incorporate that in. And this is where it's gonna give it a little bit more flavor and the buttery taste. And we wanna incorporate this, this in, okay? Okay, you want to mix it until the butter is completely combined with your batter. I usually make this batter a day before and I am going to transfer this batter into 
a container where I can actually just pour the batter into the machine. Hey, there's our batter and we're gonna put this in the fridge and we're gonna come back next day to actually make our egg waffle. Okay, so the batter had been put overnight as I had recommended or you can at least put it in the fridge for four hours so we have our batter here and I have actually two cup here I am gonna show you how to make the original bubble waffle okay as well as I am gonna show you how to make a chocolate bubble waffle with cocoa powder and I am going to put actual chocolate chips in it and the last flavor that I'm going to show you how to make is actually the matcha bubble waffle. So we just need to have some matcha powder here. Okay, so first of all, you want to uh, plug in your bubble waffle machine here. And you want to set the temperature to 200 degrees here. Okay, as well as we're just going to wait until this to be preheated. Okay, so while this is being preheated, I am going to transfer the batter into other uh, measuring cup here because I want to make three different flavors. So for each of the batter, I want three-fourths of a cup here. So three-fourths of a cup, and we can actually let that sit a little bit. You can see the texture of the batter is definitely not really liquidy, right? So it's very firm. Okay, so let that sit and make sure it is three-fourths of a cup. If it's a little bit more than three-fourths of a cup, that's also fine. Each batter is, like I said, three-fourths of a cup here. So first of all, I am gonna mix in the matcha powder in here. And you can mix it well in this case. So you want to mix it until the matcha is completely incorporated into the batter here. Alright, so the amount of the matcha powder that I put in is one and a half teaspoon of the matcha powder. So this should be very flavorful once we make our bubble waffle here. Alright, so I'm going to leave that in. And the next one is going to be the cocoa powder. I have one and a half teaspoon of cocoa powder here. So let's put this in. And again, we are going to stir the batter and completely incorporate the cocoa powder into our batter here. Look at the texture, it's like a gluey texture here. Okay, so I do have some vegetable oil here and we are going to use the vegetable oil to coat the um, the, la the inner layer of our waffle machine. And the chocolate chip, I will add that in later. Let's put that to the side. Okay, so before you make this and before we um, oil the waffle machine, okay, you want to make sure you have one of these cooling rack set up. And also I want to show you, so you also, I'm using a Dyson for the fan here, okay? So you also want to turn on a fan. And because the reason is you want to, when, when the waffle is ready, you want to make sure it get cool right away so then the outside is going to be crispy because when you take it out, it's going to be very steamy, it's going to be hot. You want to cool it off right away. So you want to set it up somewhere like this where you have a fan and I, found it using my Dyson, you know, is the best here. So that's my setup. All right, so I have the fan going on here and let's get started. Okay, so we wanna oil each individual bubble slot here, okay? So I'm using vegetable oil. Okay, don't forget to oil the top as well here. Okay, so now we're gonna put in our original batter. I okay, just wanna spread it a little bit okay, better, more even. Okay, so we can close this up. 
and as you close this up, you want to tilt it a little bit. Okay, tilt it to the side, tilt it on the to the right, to the left. And guess what? The most important is you want to flip it. You want to set the timer to three and a half minute. And we are now just gonna wait. And in this case, to have it ready. Okay, now that it is ready, let's take a look at this. Our bubble waffle. Let's take this out. This. And right away, we want to put it in our cooling rack. And you want to shape it like this. And that's how they usually sell it on the street. Fold it like in half. And you want to directly have it under uh, with, where the fan is blowing. Okay, so now let's do the matcha one. So I'm going to put, pour in my batter here. And notice I'm pour, pouring it from the side to cover all the holes first, all the bubble hole, and then come back in the middle to cover it. Okay, and then you can smooth it out a little bit. Okay, and now we can close it up. And as you close it up, you can tilt it right away. And again, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. A little bit down, all right? So then this way, you want to make sure every bubble will get the batter here. And set it for three and three minutes and 30 seconds again. Okay, so on the side here, we can scrape those extra batter that came out. And we can definitely just scrape it using a butter knife. And come to the side here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and scrape these out. And that's why you want to have a pan right underneath it. Okay, so the timer is off. So let's twist and open this up. Okay, so right here we are going to take this out. And look how nice this is. And we're going to transfer it over here to the cooling rack and you want to cool this right away. Okay, so for this last one, we're going to make the chocolate one. Now for the chocolate batter, I have this right here and I do want to put in individual, individual chocolate chips into each bubble slot. So if you can get some help and I'm gonna have Shane to help me out. So then we have four hands and we're gonna put this in really quick once I put the batter in. All right. So I'm gonna put the batter first and then we're gonna start putting the chocolate chip into the slot. Okay, so this is where we wanna put in our chocolate chips. All right, let's close this up. Definitely, we're gonna have some spill over this time. There's a lot of batter here. Set the timer for three minutes this time. Okay, so the timer went off and let's take a look at our chocolate bubble waffles. Oh wow, look at this. Quite interesting. All right, cooling rack right away. Okay, I just wanna show you, okay, a close up here with the bubble waffle. Look how nice it is. All right, I'm gonna show you the matcha one. Okay, look how nice it came out. Okay, so it's still a little warm here with these. That's good, you want it that way. And let's take a look at our chocolate. All right, so almost there. I'm just gonna let it fan it out for another 30 seconds and that should be good. Mm, that 
definitely a little crunch on the outside of the bubble waffle. That's good. I'm gonna save some for the stand right there. So I'm gonna do the matcha. Matcha came out really good. So one and a half teaspoon of matcha powder, perfect. I just want to show you the chocolate chip. How I incorporate the chocolate chip here, and let's try this out. Hmm. Yeah, I'll definitely make a difference with the chocolate chip. So I just bite into half of it and you can see the color difference with the chocolate chip. Mm, this is interesting. Very rich chocolate chip because depending on what chocolate chip you use and what brand, this one came out really good. Very good. I hope you enjoyed the Hong Kong bubble waffle video. And if you like this video, please give me a like on the bottom and subscribe to our food travel shopping channel. The recipe for this bubble waffle will be in the description box below. And don't forget to follow us on the food travel shopping channel on Instagram. And stay tuned for our next video. Thanks for watching.